Hi everybody and welcome to uh, Steve's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making hot dogs, but they're hot dog cookies, so a little bit different. Uh, let's hear your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and I'll book my subscription button here. If you want to stay in touch, let's get on and make hot dog cookies. So in a bowl I've got half a cup of unsalted butter, which I'm just going to melt with my laser eyes. And if you haven't got laser eyes, I don't know where you were when they were given out, but you can use the microwave. Now into that I'm going to add one cup of all-purpose flour, just a plain flour. And then I've got a quarter of a cup of fine sugar, caster sugar. And we're just going to cream that together now. And for a little extra flavour, I'm just going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. If your dough is like mine, a little bit crumbly, it's not binding together well, just take uh, about a teaspoon of warm water and just add that into the mix and that'll start to bind the dough together. Now I've taken our cookie dough out and I've divided it into two, about two thirds for our buns and about a third for our hot dogs. So this is going to go now in the fridge, this piece, and uh, let it chill for half an hour. And I'm going to add a little bit of colour to this one. So I'm just going to add a few drops of red food colouring into uh, that third. So what you end up with is this nice pink red cookie dough mixture which I'm going to put in the fridge with the other one for half an hour or so just to let the dough settle. While the cookie dough is chilling I'm just going to make a little butter icing. So I've got a quarter cup of powdered sugar or icing sugar and I've got a quarter cup also of softened butter. I'm just going to mix these, I'm going to cream these together until I've got this nice smooth creamy butter icing. Then I'm just going to take half of this and I'm going to pop it into a, a separate ramekin. One I'm going to use a red food colouring to make a ketchup and this one I'm going to use a yellow food colouring to make my mustard. Now a little baking 101 for you. We're just going to make a little piping bag. Now you could use the corner of a uh, Ziploc bag, but we've got a triangle of parchment paper. And I'm just going to uh, bring that up. And you have to wrap that round. Okay, so you end up with this sort of corner shape. You bring that corner up to there, and then you bring the other corner here. Just wrap it around. So you end up with like a, a little cone shape, a little cornet shape. And just roll down, and you can see there, I'm just gonna roll down that corner to seal it. Here's one I made earlier for the mustard icing. And this one I'm gonna fill for the ketchup. So when our cookie doughs are out of the fridge and they've cooled a little bit, we're just going to be rolling up some little balls of dough. Now these are about 15 grams and these ones here are about 5 grams. That's about uh, 0.6 of an ounce and I think 0.2 of an ounce. So I'm just going to take the little bun first of all. I'm just rolling that out to a little sausage shape like this. Take a chopstick, works quite well or anything similar and just rock it in the middle there. Let me turn that sideways so you can see. Pop that in the middle and rock it backwards and forwards. And then we're just going to roll out a little hot dog, a little frankfurter, and pop that in the middle of the bun. Pop the knife underneath and pop that onto our cookie tray. So let me show you that from a different angle. I'm rolling out my little bun and then I'm just taking the chopstick and I'm popping it in the center and rocking it gently backwards and forwards to get the center of the bun. Push that up a little bit and then I take our little hot dog, pop it in the center there, slide a knife underneath and pop that onto our cookie tray. So there are the little cookies, all ready to go in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 180 degrees Celsius. Now we're just gonna cook them for about 10 to 12 minutes until they go a little bit golden brown and I'm gonna pop them out on the side and let them cool down. Okay, we'll have a look in a moment. So there we have a plate of little hot dog cookies. Now I'm just going to take the icing and I'm just going to drag a little mustard over the top, like that. And these ones have got a little bit of grated um, coconut on them. And we just again put the mustard over the top of those. And if you prefer it, you might like a, a little bit of ketchup, albeit a little bit pink. 
my red isn't so good. And for those of you that like a little mustard and ketchup, why not? And there you have a fun little plate of hot dog cookies. Great for parties, great for any time really. I'm gonna try one of these now. Here goes. Mm. Tastes like a cookie, looks like a hot dog. Lots of fun. Guys, join me in the next video. Thanks for watching. Excuse me, talking my mouth off. So thanks for watching. Drop by again, be good. I'll put my subscribe button here as always. Uh, look out for tomorrow's cinnamon buns. They are gonna be absolutely delicious. I'll see you in the next video. Be good. Hi and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be looking at some of the cheese that was sent to me in that recent parcel. Okay, those of you that saw the video know that I was sent a parcel from, from a company up in uh, Sydney and they sent me some halloumi cheese. This is a Pitta's halloumi cheese. Now it 